Look at that. Oh, I got all this right here. You did the job for me. Oh, you. Herbs, herbs, shit. It's got an old mobile. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Mr. Right. Know It All here. So what, what are we rocking with? I can with? tell you all about this car. It's a 1970 Volkswagen sedan in this nice creamy turquoise color. And then the rust, just because. It's older and it's than you. It's got a V8 swap from an old mobile. Okay, so how do you know this all, Mr. Know It All? Uh, I have x ray vision, actually. Okay, yeah. well. It's kind of a cheat when he tells you everything right there, buddy. It's 2,700 pounds without a driver. Without a driver, ooh. I'm sure you knew that. Whoa, what the? 2,700 pounds is pretty heavy. Yeah, well, it's got a V8. It's got it's a, a seven, seven something liter V8. 7.5 liter V8 in the back. Is it a manual? Yeah, it's manual. How did you fit a V8 in here? That's so beastly. That's a lot of booty. Did they, like, put the shell on top of the engine? <laughs> How do you fit it in here? It's like the whole back seat shell. Yeah. Sick. With a, with a three speed. Like. <laughs> this is a 1970, eh? This is ridiculous, man. Holy. So. But, but it's not equal runner on that. <laughs> so tell the viewers anything else we don't know by reading the sign, Kelvin. Uh, they stopped making uh, Volkswagen Beatles now, so this is a very classic because they are out of production now. Uh, what year did they start making that? This year, 2019. Wow. How do you know that? Uh, I do. I don't know. I'm in the car industry. Well, it's good to be in the car industry then because I didn't know that. So right here we have an M3. I can tell you that the chassis code is an E46. Uh, this model is probably an 05. They made this one 01 to 05. Uh, this does have a 3.2 liter inline six with some carbon fiber goodies right there. This, I did read in the back earlier, this is a CLL, uh, CSL edition, so it is quite rare. Is this a carbon fiber strut? No, nice. Uh, What's Pardon? Tell us about this part right here. That is what, an intake manifold? Yeah. Carbon fiber intake manifold? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it looks kind of stock, but it's uh, this, huge, it is though. huge. Look though. at that. That is a big that intake. That is big. Yeah. And these are. Oh, actually, look at that. Look at this lip. This is a carbon fiber. Is that carbon front. fiber lip? Yep. I wonder if this is stock. It might be. No it, way. It, it, might, it might be because it, it is a C, CSL edition and, and those are actually stock rims from BMW for the C, CLS, uh, CSL edition. Sorry, it's not CLS. CSL edition. Uh, he's got some bucket seats. Are these bucket carbon fiber seats? So, and it is an SMG, of course, with a DVD player and an Arcantara uh, steering wheel and a, a Canadian car because you could look at the gauge. Is the Arcantara like uh, custom? Uh, no, that's stock. That's stock? Yeah. yeah. So we didn't, we didn't that stitch it? it? No, I'm almost no, positive that it's stock. And this is in, this, this car here is like in prime condition. Like yeah, look at is, that. Look at even this has, yeah. I, I'm, you're right, it has yeah, to be. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's stock. stock. It's got a deep plate. Yeah, for sure. Oh, look at the dealer plate. Look at the dealer plate. All right, on to Jake now because Jake. we were joking around about this earlier. And yeah, what's going on, buddy? We have Oaksmobile. Okay. This looks like in the era of the 80s. Okay, Red okay. Style. Uh, let's see if the... Uh, oh, it does have an exhaust coming out from here. Okay. And a lot of these, like they go side in, but like this is uh, pretty soft. I don't really see anything different in the inside. This should be a classic by now, right? Should 
must be a classic plate by now, but it's not. So Some something must be. Well, no, some in, something must be in the engine bay. That bad or it's, it's not. He just doesn't want to get it, you know, collectors because it's a pain. <laughs> Calvin, it's your turn. Come on, get it before he goes. The old mobile tornado. Okay. Two door. Two door. That's all I know. Oh wow. And he's leaving. Yeah, we. Wow, well, we went for arriving too late, man. We went for arriving too late. We okay. I do like this uh, BMW 2002 here. Sick. With some sparkle bucket seats here. You know what? These look like the, the uh, uh, R100. Like yeah, those, they those, do. Those uh, rotary Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. R100. Is it the same year? I don't know. Like, same Probably era? Probably the same era. Same era? Yeah. Uh, there is uh, dust on that side there. Okay. Uh, you walk all the way down and then on the left. Sure, thanks. Yeah. Oh. All right, Chris. Tell us about your car here. <laughs> the 15 RCF performance pack. 460. Seven horse rear drive just picked her up oh damn 100 percent stock still how many kilometers you got on here 40 40 thousand 40k damn look at this grill here massive like this grill here just got it two weeks ago two weeks ago damn. these are some massive brakes are these like I know they're are these huge. like 14 and a half inches or 15 inches or something i don't even know all i know is they're gonna be expensive when they need to be yeah recorded. i'm doing a brake job soon so he's sitting on 19s and these things barely clear the room like look at this nuts oh he's got the nice s sports uh, seats here oh okay yeah well give me a second i'll uh so he's nice enough for me to uh and this is stock here, eh? 100% stock. Nice carbon fiber stock wing here. Maybe we'll look into doing something like this for the helmet production car. This, go, this is uh, electronic too, so it goes up and down. After 100K? Uh, 80K it'll go up, or 80K? I can manually put it up. You so can I've manually too, hey? Yeah, today I put it up manually. Uh, so this is uh, Chris' car here. Uh, what was it? Black Mamba? Black Mamba RCF. Okay, I'll tag your Instagram on yeah. there. Yeah, okay. Cool, interesting. I'm gonna go inside real quick yeah, just, yeah, to, sure, sure, sure. just to show the viewers what they're looking at. You get a little bit of luxury here. He's got the nice F Sports seats. I'm jealous. I would rock these seats uh, for the ISF any day. He's got the newer steering wheel, F Sports steering wheel with the nice metal gauge here. And he's got a small uh, kilometer cluster on the right instead of being on the left and uh, the RPM on the right like you would have the ISF this is the newer the newer models and of course the Mark Levinson uh, speakers 14 or something like thousand watts in here F Sport represent and he's got the newer this is I believe 5 liter sick let's go back with the boys Hey Jake, ready? Uh, oh, for this? Uh, no, we gotta move on. Okay, let's yeah, go. Let's go. Okay, thank you, man. Hey, no problem. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. We'll uh, roll. You wanna go left side? Right side? Some vents oh, here? Just walk around. Yeah. yeah. So we got some. Uh, this is a E55. You can top of the rims. E63 has different rims. It's E55, maybe 0305 or something. AMG. 5.5 liter supercharged V8. This thing is pushing at least 5 .4. 450 something. 5.4? No. Uh, uh, four, it's wow. 470, 469. Yeah, 469 to the crank. But it is yeah, quick. Well, this one's really clean too. This is even, even. Right? Yeah, this thing's really this clean. This is wow. rare because S6. this is a S65. Wow, look at these wheels. Yeah. Sitting on, I believe, 22s. Yeah. Yep. 2, 9, 5, 20, 5, 22. Sitting oh, on 22 inch rims. Going fast in style. Look at this uh, diamond quilted leather V12 with the wood. Oh, wood grain. I'm so desensitized to these cars. Why? I see them every day. Oh, of course, you work at Mercedes. Oh, so he's like, whatever. Yeah, I see this shit every day. I see uh, GTRs, AMGs every day. But uh, this is a V12. That's true. That's yeah. true, Calvin. This is a hand-built V12, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, handcrafted. They're all yeah, hand they're all hand-built. So one motor, Michael, one man, one Michael, oh, something yeah. made this engine. Good props to you. You know, there's one guy that makes all the Zonda engines. 
Yeah. Yeah. His, his name is uh, Michael something too. Yeah. Yeah. He has a he has an Instagram. Yeah. So this is sitting on really clean, 22 inch rims. This is just what you would call the baller car. This is the big want to be a big baller. Shot caller. You can fit all your homies in here. Sick. In style. Gets good gas mileage too. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Subaru WRX? Yeah. yeah. Is this SDI? No. SDI! Yeah. There you go. Which one is that one? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, That's I didn't something. see the wing. I was like, where's the... This is a uh, STI. Um... The wing looks... Yeah. What is this? 15 brand new? 19? 19? Yeah. Damn. Spotless, super clean with stock Ricardos. Look at that steering wheel, and of course your 6 k speed manual. Sick. I didn't know the STI uh, front brakes are six. Pack. Really? Yeah. Stock, eh? Damn. Oh wow. That's a. That's like what a shark fin thingy? Yeah. yeah this, this is stock. There's no way this is a stock exhaust. No, the the, the this thing here, the UC fuser. Yeah. Stock? I think so. Yeah, right? that's stock. I that should so, be right? stock. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's yeah, definitely right. got that's a modified stock. Uh, exhaust there. Sick. I didn't, and he's I got the know. rally car. Huh? The diffuser thing looks stock. Awesome. Owner's right there. I'm saying that's not. Do you? Are we wagering another bet, Jake? Yeah, <laughs> coffee. Let's do it. Uh, another one. I'm saying that's not Wait, stock. Uh, back to yeah. that no, stock? no. I'm talking about the exhaust. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm right on both. I said the diffuser is stock. Oh, I said that too. Yeah. But I said the, the, that's, the that's why I said exhaust, I exhaust I didn't is not stock. Exhaust. Oh, he's Feel got like a he's, he's got an HKS bowl like file. The right way to go. Right oh. away. Alright, we weren't looking. <laughs> Ready, roll? Yes. Okay, let's go. On to the next. That's bro. Yeah, nice I, car, man. I have a Legacy yeah. D4 and I run the HKS that wall valve too on it. It, it sounds good. I like that. The only downfall I find is that is I lose all my boost. Uh, when you, when you, well, for me, I have two. Wow, oh, I used to really love this right here. Back when I was like 19 years old. This is a, actually, this is a dark blue if you guys. Really? Oh, it looks dark blue for some reason. Or is this a light? Okay, but. Carbon black metallic with the cinnamon leather interior. I remember the cinnamon leather interior because I was in love with this interior back in the day. And of course, it's a six speed manual. The right way to go. There you go. Yeah, sick. This is so sick. I used to love this car, but I couldn't afford it or the insurance. Because this is uh, luxury and sport. But this, the paint on this is just beautiful. You guys gotta see this thing in person. Damn. Let's see what we got going on. So tell me about your car. This is uh, Maverick uh, GS on Instagram. We're gonna put the link in. But tell me about your car. What are you seeing on? 20s? Yeah, 20s. Okay. 20 by 9s, 20 by 10 and a half. Oh, damn. It's on, nice uh, clean rims. It's a black GS here. Yeah, it's on tank coilovers. Okay. 78 works, uh, tail lights. It's got like low profile visors, LX mode, front grille. Supreme headrest or neck rest here. <laughs> black. This is a GS4. Uh, 450 hybrid edition. It's a little bit more rare. Did you uh, black out these tail lights yourself? No, that's came that's like that. Like that. Yeah. And you bought it pretty low K, eh? Yeah. Eighty thousand, roughly. No, when I bought it, it was only sixty nine. Sixty nine K. Yeah, now it's, so now it's at eighty. Put in about, yeah, put in about fifty K since I bought it. Wow. And it's pretty rare to find these uh, low kilometer. Uh, 
GSs. People don't get rid of them. Like they just, they're such a good car that people just. Yeah. 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 Well, if they do get rid of them, it's because it's like it's like really high mileage. Yeah. And it's starting to, you know, the battery uh, and all that kind of stuff starting to <laughs> fail and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Four fifty. It's just super mint too. Damn. There's a uh, sound system. I'm guessing you left stock and everything. It's, it's still, yeah, it's yeah. still just the ML. Yeah, we got the sunroof and everything. This is how you roll in style. Drive your family to the mall and yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's true. That's why I got the four doors. So it gets pretty good gas mileage, right? Yeah, it's not bad for like for the, the horsepower this thing produces, like 340 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. It, I, it's like it's uh, like so far so I had it. Uh, I would highly not recommend it unless you're a baller. Yeah. 400 and it's like super smooth too super yeah smooth. Super, smooth. super smooth super smooth it's a Lexus right so yeah, yeah. my daughter loves it when I just gun it oh. she, goes, she goes holy cow is that that's yeah. fast I it goes, like, it's like, how come it's so quiet it's so 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 fast I'm like yeah yeah it's just because it's the hybrid yeah it's the the electric power you just get uh, yeah yeah yeah, cool. I love the gauge on this too. You mind if I get a shot of the gauge? Because the metal gauge here is just something else. Yeah, this is super clean. Here. It's got, uh, look at this. Look at this gauge. I'm going to try to get you guys a shot of this gauge here. This is some metal gauges. You don't see those anymore. Even in the new Lex. Oh, actually, no, the new Lex is uh, the R RCF over there. Had, had some metal there. It's just so uh, this is actually a V10 in here. Um, they actually came in also a six-speed manual, which is a fucking shit ton of money now because it's super rare. Um, this one is an SM. This one is an SMG. Sure, it's not dual clutch. Bye. Yeah, it's an SMG. Do you know this SMG or CCT? Oh. <laughs> well, where's the owner? So the question is, is this an SMG or a DCT? Uh, please comment below if you guys know, because we don't know. But I do know there's a V10 in there, and it did come in a six-speed manual. Maybe it's the first generation GCC. First generation yeah. GCC, DCT from Joe here. Let's go check out Joe's car. We haven't really done much with that yet. Oh, I want to get a shot of you like lifting up. The yeah, 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 we got to get that. Let's do that. Jake's about to leave. And this is Joe's car. Joe, we leave? Okay. Sick. Okay, so we're on to Joe's car here. If I can get my stabilizer freaking. Uh... What do you got here, Joe? No 4G35. Oh, 4G35. Keep going. Sitting on bags? Some bags, airlift, suspension. Okay. Oops. Do you do the work yourself or do you ride myself? Sitting on 20s, you got some dubs. No gearing tissue. No, the bags, putting the bags in was easy. Uh, running electrical airlines, that, that was the fun part. Yeah. Wait, you put in the bags yourself? Yeah. Damn, so you had to do all the fabricating and the wiring. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I hear that kind of stuff. Oh, yep. Okay, well, I'm at 16%. Can uh, we get you to do the bag thing? Because uh, that'd yeah, be cool. Let's get this lifted. 